हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग लाइब्रेरी दिस इज इन द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस वीडियो सीरीज ऑन कोर जावा टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फीचर्स ऑफ जावा जावा हैज अ लॉट ऑफ फीचर्स विच आई हैव रिटर्न हेयर एंड दोज आर सिंपल ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड पोर्टेबल प्लेटफॉर्म इंडिपेंडेंट सेक्योर्ड रोबस्ट आर्किटेक्चरल न्यूट्रल इंटरप्रेटेड हाई परफॉर्मेंस डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एंड डायनेमिक वी विल सी हेयर वन बाय वन अबाउट द फीचर्स ऑफ जावा इन डिटेल्स फर्स्ट वन इज सिंपल जावा इज अ सिंपल लैंग्वेज आई हैव नोटेड सम ऑफ पॉइंट्स टू मेक इट क्लियर दैट वाई जावा इज अ सिंपल लैंग्वेज Java is easy to learn. It is easy to learn syntax-wise because the syntax of Java is quite easy to learn and write. Second point is to learn Java, no prior knowledge is required. See, a lot of people have a misconception that in order to learn Java, you have a prerequisite knowledge of C, C plus plus. but it's totally a misconception you can choose java as your first programming language also the third point is no need to improve unreferenced object as it totally maintained by automatic garbage collector see when in the java program if there is existence of unreferenced object to remove that object there is no any need of extra implementation that will be written in the code that is totally controlled by automatic garbage collector that is automatic garbage collector will check will control or will remove the unreferenced object right now the second feature the second feature of java is object oriented so object oriented yeah java is a object oriented everything that is present in java is basically an object yeah and these objects interact with each other to give a desired output in our java program we will see it in detail way when we are going to learn the oops concept in my upcoming videos for this time i would like to give a example and by that example only i will make you understand how it really works suppose you are building an application of hospital management and in hospital management you have lot of doctors there lot of nurses there along with the patients who are going to the hospital for check up and these three things these three objects these three persons are treated as object i think so at this time they are interacting with each other and get a successful result such as uh, patients get a perfect doctor for the treatment and doctors will ask for the nurses for the regular check up of the patients so these three interactions involves inside the object or between the object is totally controlled by the java the th the third feature is portable provide what i have written here is java provides feature of carrying byte code that is compiled code to any platform without any additional changes example mobile number portability in india what is portable portable simply means if you have written a java program in your machine containing operating system of windows right so if you want to run same code on a different machine having a different os so it's quite possible and you can just send 
your same Java program to that machine also and work successfully. So this is the feature of Java that is portable nature. The next feature is platform independent. Platform independent simply refers to the OS independent feature. OS independent features means OS independent simply means that you have to just write your code once and run anywhere just as I have written here. Suppose you have written a source code here and source code is then compiled to the byte code and this byte code gets executed among three different machines having different OS in that. So all these things are happening at a time is due to the platform independent nature of the Java. Our next feature is secured. Actually, Java can build a virus free system. How it is so? It is so because Java program never communicates directly with the machine. First, converted into bytecode and then converted into machine code by the JVM. If the bytecode contains any problem or if it is not properly formatted, then the JVM won't allow that code to run and will raise verify error. Internally inside JVM, bytecode verifier is responsible to verify the bytecode. Hence, Java program won't cause any problem of the system. Now, the next feature is robust. Robust simply means the strong. And what makes Java strong? I have written three points here that makes Java very powerful. The first one is strong memory management. Strong memory management, I have just declared that uh, Java contains an automatic garbage collector and this automatic garbage collector uh, controls the memory management of Java. Means if the, ob if the memory allocation or memory delocation is controlled by something that is the garbage collector. Okay. The second point here written is exception handling. Exception handling is also a powerful feature in Java and it controls uh, the exceptions at runtime. The third one is type checking mechanism. Type checking mechanism is something that is used to check the type during compile time and it won't allow the mis uh, mis uh, a spelled types like if you declare int a equals to 10.5 since 10.5 is a double value and uh, this double value can't be assigned to the integer type so it will give a compiler error compile time error now the next feature is architectural neutral architectural neutral simply says that the compiler generates bytecode that has nothing to do with the computer architecture hence java is easy to interpret what this is referring here this is simply saying that if you are working on a machine and you have written a java code in your machine having windows 10 and if somehow there is a notification in your laptop or desktop that uh, to upgrade your system so you have upgraded your system successfully and if you are trying to write, uh, run the same program in upgraded version of your uh, windows then it will successfully run again so what is different now we do not have to write any further any additional changes here that is the feature of architectural neutral means you are able to run the same program in upgraded version also what does it show it simply says that okay java supports architectural neutral it do not depends on the architecture this is what i am saying now the next feature is interpreted hopefully java is an interpreted language and uh, this is due to 
Be, uh, this is due to JVM, which is uh, which acts as an interpreter in Java, and it converts the bytecode into the machine code. The next feature is high performance. High performance Java is known for the faster than other traditional interpreted programming language, as Java bytecode is generally close to native code. Java is a multi-threading. Java uses multi-threading concept, and why it is so? Before going to discuss about the multi-threading, I would like to discuss about the threads. Threads are the sub-tasks which are assigned for a part of a program. Yeah, that's true. Let's take an example and understand it in a clear way. Suppose you are working on a wordpad. and in one word pad you are writing some text and during write during your writing you will see that the word count increases as you starts writing what does this show these two threads are working simultaneously in the same way in a java program there are so many threads so many small tasks assigned in the program with different function different threads actually and these thre those threads are working simultaneously and that is the feature of of java provided here is the multi threading yeah the next feature is distributed nature and the distributive java can make a distributive application so a lot of people start thinking that what are the distributive feature of java so let me clear first what are distributive applications distributive applications as i have written here are those of software that run on a multiple computer within a network at the same time and can be stored on server see examples are web browser the last one is dynamic java is famous for supporting dynamic loading of classes dynamic loading simply means loading of class file at run time and what does it shows it simply says that whatever the classes we need in our java program we can load it at the run time we have concept of packages import class in java and that enables us to uh, import our required class from different packages at run time when we are writing import statement uh, in the java program we will see that all those classes required are imported to our java program instantly during the run time so these are all about today hope you have enjoyed my video please like comment and share and if you have not subscribed till date you can also subscribe us and follow us on the facebook instagram and thank you